Hi, in this video I'm gonna show you how to install Cardinal on both Mac and PC because installation is a bit tricky, it's not really easy and there are a few steps to do so if you are on Mac please stay here if you are on Windows you can skip to the last part of the video and first of all of course you need to download Cardinal I will give you all the links in the description so you simply go to the Cardinal website and then you click on download and then you can proceed to uh, download it's on GitHub as you can see and you need to scroll down and you will find all the different files to download you need to choose of course the Mac version which is specified as Mac OS Universal and when you have finished you can try to open the file to install Cardinal but you will have this error because the file is probably not verified and not signed so you only have two options to close the the window or to move to the trash bin and you say you have a, a message here telling that the Mac cannot open so how can we solve this problem we need to remove the quarantine so you need to execute this command here in terminal again you will see the link in the description so you type the command and you drag and drop your file and then you simply press enter and you give your password and then the file should be clean and you will be able to execute and to install Cardinal as normal as any other kind of software on the Mac and you can install only the version that you need so for example you have the standalone you have the audio unit version you have a VST2 VST3 and the clap version so I'm only selecting my AU for the moment because I'm on Mac and I want to use it in logic And the installation will then proceed normally and you will have Cardinal installed on your Mac. And let's see now the installation of Windows, which is a little less complicated. Again, you can simply click on download on the website, again, link in the description, and you search for the installer.exe file and you download that file. And you will get more or less the same error that we get on a Mac because the, the file is not signed, is not verified, and so Windows cannot run it. You only have the option to don't run, but if you click on more info, you have the option to run anyway and just be sure that the file is perfectly fine with no virus or something like that. So you click on run anyway and the installation will start normally and again you will have Cardinal installed on your Windows machine after that. And that's how you install Cardinal on your Windows machine. And for the last part of this video, let's enjoy this beautiful Cardinal patch for a little bit more. Mm -hmm. 